What's up y'all, Wallamoose here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Canva's max slide limit. Now, it used to be 100 and they recently updated to 200, but what happens if you have a presentation or booklet that's longer than 200 pages? In this video, we're gonna be talking about a workaround so you can have longer presentations while using Canva. Alrighty, so we're here in Canva, and right now I've got just a blank presentation, but I've pushed it all the way to the max limit. And as you can see down here at the bottom, it's got 200 slides, and normally this button where you can add a slide, it's grayed out, and it says 200 page max limit. So what happens if you have a presentation and you need it just a tad longer than 200 pages? So it's easy to do, but it's a little bit of a workaround. So I recently ran into this problem back when 100 was the max limit. So if you go to my library right here, you can see I have a presentation and I named it CMRP presentation one through 100. And then I created a second one that's 200 to 300, 300 to 400, and so on. And it ended up being over 500 pages or 500 slides. So what you do is you create multiple presentations and you just name them in sequential order. And then what you do is whenever you go into the individual presentation, let's go back here and move myself down here so we can see. Um, what you're going to do is within the presentation, go to share download and you can either download multiple PDFs so like five different PDFs and then combine them or if you want this to be a PowerPoint presentation what you can do is go to file type oh excuse me for PowerPoint you go to more download as a PowerPoint and you can have multiple individual PowerPoints now let me show you how to combine these so I'm going to do PowerPoint first, and I'll have a timestamp in the YouTube bar. So if you want to know how to do a PDF, just skip ahead. Um, I'm going to do PDF first, or PowerPoint first, then PDF. All right, so we're in my Finder window. And as you can see for this presentation, I have four files, one, two, three, four. All I need to do is open all these. So shift click, shift click, and then open all of these as individual files. Let me just give that a second to open up. Okay, so I've got these four presentations open, and they're a little bit confidential, so I'm going to cover the information. But over here on the sidebar, you can see all of the slides. Select the first one, scroll all the way down to this to the last one, shift click so they're all selected. And what we can do is drag all the content from the second part to the first part. So let me hover it over, just shift drag, hover it over. And I can go to the first one. Okay, this is really killing my computer doing the screen capture and this at the same time. But as you can see, I've dragged all 100 slides over here. And you just drag them to the bar of the other presentation. And you stack these. And so when you save it, it'll create a PowerPoint document with all 500 or however many slides. So I'm sorry I can't show you. My computer is having a tough time. But that is how to do PowerPoint. Let's move on to PDF and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so what I've done is I've downloaded this test presentation with 200 slides as a PDF. And again, to do that, just go to share, download, and then PDF. So if we go back to my finder window, I can see I've got PDF1 and PDF2. What we're going to do is shift click and open them both. Pretty similar to how we did with the PowerPoint presentation. And so the same thing, you've got your sidebar over here. Select on your second PDF. Oh, there it is. Um, select the first one, go all the way down to the last one, way down here. Shift click, so they're all selected, and it may crash my computer again, so, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, what we're going to do is click and drag, and then you can drag them in the timeline of the first one. So make sure you're at the bottom of the first one, and you can click and drag. Okay, so it slowed down my computer a little bit. But if you'll notice, what happened was it created two sets of presentations, one through 200 and then additional one through 200 over here. What we're going to do is go up to File, Save. And again, my computer's having a real tough time. But once you save it, it will be one through 400 and not through one through 200 twice because it will save as one complete document. So that's how you do that. You just have to basically splice multiple presentations together. I wish there was another way, but can't. But Canva being an online platform, I understand it has limitations on how much it can save and work with at one time. So um, all you need to do is create multiple presentations and just put them together like, like so. So 
I hope this video helped. I, I'm sorry if this recording is a little wonky with my computer, um, but I hope the idea came across well and you understood it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to answer them for y'all. Um, but if you liked it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.